Well, thank God we're seeing this fight again. Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. Of course, their first meeting lasted all of 13 seconds. Your expectations for what we're going to see here tonight? A much tougher fight. I expect Jose Aldo to take his time in his approach. The first time the emotion got the best of him, and that led to that beautiful Conor McGregor common left hand. Aldo needs to make sure he only attacks when he's given the right opportunity. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in there. Just waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and throwing that head kick over the top. Wow, actually got the takedown. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Now this lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice kick. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from now. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Well, he has really come out aggressively to start this fight. He's staying technical, but we have certainly seen an uptick in the volume and the output compared to his previous fight. Good start for him here tonight. Aldo gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He takes all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there from the ground. It is his best strike, and it's because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the eye. Nice kick. Right to the So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Aldo gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watch him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch there. One hundred and thirty total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor, landing at an eighty-three percent clip here against Jose L. And they separate. Big kick land. And he goes to the uppercut. He lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. Getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Ooh, head kick land. Hurt. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one two there by Connor. And there comes the Double separation down. attempt here. And that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hand punch. Let's go, do something. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, effective strike there by Aldo. Oh, that's a big connection there from McGregor, DC. 
I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Aldo's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And he... Oh. Right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He has a to Good right hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without that. Single collar tie now. A couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing so much for him. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Right, so I think he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Right hand on point. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by McGregor. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with a beautiful punch. Really got his opponent on notice here. Well, if you like Muay Thai strike. Fantastic timing. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. Conor McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Aldo gets caught with that. Yeah, he's really bad. He's got him hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight. Sauce reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. That'll do it! Goodness, what a fight. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the knockout.